Hello guys, welcome back. This is Double Keep Tutorial here and here I am today after a very long time with a brand new fresh Cinema 4D tutorial. And uh, I know it's been a couple of days since I uploaded a few tutorials, but I was kind of busy and now I have the time to make some tutorials. So today we're going to be learning something uh, very simple and basic. We're going to be learning to make a magnifying glass. So this is how the magnifying glass look like. So uh, you can see that this is the magnifying glass and uh, I put a cube just uh, underneath and we can see the, you know, uh, change over here in the cube. So uh, pretty simple, we'll be doing complete simple modeling of the uh, magnifying glass and we'll just texture it up, give it a nice texture, transparency texture and uh, that should get us going. So here I am in a new project and the first thing I want to do is change my render settings to 1280 by 720. Okay and then the first thing we want to do is we want to go and grab a cylinder. Okay so in the radius I'm going to set that to 12 and the height I'm going to set that to say 135 degrees and uh, let's just zoom in so we have a clear look. And then I'm going to duplicate the cylinder and on the new cylinder I'm going to set the radius to 10 and the height to 40 and I'm just going to move this up slightly like that okay okay and on the first cylinder I just want to go and check the fillet and give it a little bit of fillet the radius of say, say 2.5 uh, you know that's pretty good and I'm going to go duplicate the cylinder and I'm going to set the radius to 11 and the height to 5. Okay. And then I'm just going to check on caps this time. And uh, this is what we want. Just like a grip kind of a thing. So I'm going to duplicate the cylinder. Move it up. And I'm going to select these two cylinders. I'm going to duplicate them by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And I'm going to move them up a little bit further. So uh, this is how it looks like. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and grab a tube. Okay. And we want to set the inner radius to say 110. And uh, the height to say something around 23. We want to uh, move this up. And we want to set the orientation to plus x or anything would do okay so let's just go and uh, just go to the coordinates and bring that down so that it's touching it okay uh, i'm going to actually set the inner radius to 103 and the outer radius to 110 and then we want to go and set the rotation segments to 90 and uh, let's uh, bring this down Okay, that looks uh, pretty good. And then we want to just go and add a fillet. And I'm going to set the segments to 8 and the radius to say 0 0.5, just a little bit, just a little thin, not uh, too much. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tube. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And this, this is just a little of detailing which is done to the magnifying glass. So I'm just going to, go to bring this down slightly and I'm going to go bring it slightly down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at the inner radius and increase that up to say 109. Okay. So if you see here we get this thin plate. Actually I'm going to select both the tubes and I'm going to set the rotation segments to say something like 150. Okay, this a nice rotation. And here on the tube, I'm going to set the radius of this to 0 0.2 probably. Okay. And we want to make sure that uh, this tube is touching the, you know, almost touching the, the first tube. Okay. And uh, also one more thing we want to do is we want to go to the tube and we want to bring down the height okay not too much 
okay probably somewhere around that would do or we could even set this to say 21 okay just a little bit okay and then we we'll go to the slice and I'm gonna slice it so now we can choose our dimensions so let's keep it from there and uh, I'll bring this down bring it down and I'm gonna set this to say mine from minus 10 to 10 okay so uh, or actually we'll set that to minus 9 by 9 okay that looks brilliant okay I'm just gonna go to this tube and uh, I'm just gonna reduce down the radius of this to say something like 8.5 or let's set that to 9 yeah and that looks good and that's the trick okay looks uh, pretty simple now let's make the glass and finish up this thing but before we do the glass one more small thing I'm gonna go and duplicate this big tube and here I'm gonna set the outer radius to 103 and here the inner radius I'm gonna set that to 101 so there's a two centimeter difference and the height I'm gonna set that down to 8 okay so what I actually did is give it this uh, nice touch over there we can set this to probably oh, 103.5 okay that looks uh, good and uh, also a fillet and uh, we can set the radius to let's say uh, 0 0.5 oops 0 0.5 you know give it a nice touch or actually we're going to go to the tube and we're going to set this to uh, this will be 103 and we can set the inner radius of this to 101.5 five oops okay something like that brilliant so the next thing we want to do is we want to drop in an oil tank now there's a small shortcut which I would like to show so if we have this tube selected and I'm gonna to go to the cubes over here and choose the um, oil tank and if I hold alt before releasing it it drags it and drops it right over here because what it does is it take the tube axis matches the axis of the oil tank so and we don't have to move it from the z position up and place it and all that so here with the oil tank above we want to go and set the orientation to plus x okay here in the oil tank settings i'm going to set the radius to um let's let's set that to 100 uh, radius to 20 and these height to 11 cap height to 11 oops it's wrong no, that's okay 10 11 whatever big deal okay and uh, the rotation segments let's set that to 150 as well and uh, 150 okay that looks perfect and now if I just hide everything else other than the oil tank, you see we have this uh, nice uh, disc shot, sort of uh, shape thing. So we're going to go and start materialing this thing. But as you can see here, we have some issues because this is not touching. So we got the oil tank and we're going to increase down this radius so it touches. So say 103. Okay. That looks amazing doesn't it okay so next is we're gonna go create a material so let's grab a new material here in color we want to uncheck color and we want to uncheck specular we just want tr transparency and I'm gonna set the refraction to 1.2 that's it that's the end so we're just gonna take this and dump it on the oil tank we can see it disappears and let's make another material We want to uncheck the color and in the specular we want to set the width to 10 and then we want to go into reflection and we want to set the blurriness to 10 and the brightness down to 75 and then we want to take this and dump it on all of these so let's actually uh, delete this let's alt g that group it by pressing alt g and we want to take this and drop it on the null okay so here it is and then let's go and drag this as well into the null um actually let's 
make a copy of these materials and drop it on each of the objects. Okay, and you're going to take this now and you want to hit to rotate and then you want to rotate this. Okay, and then I'm just going to go put in a cube and uh, let's just reduce down the segments. Okay, and then let's push it in so it's visible. Let's, uh, let's make a new material, simple one. Uh, let's go for a something -ish, some reddish one. Some good red color with uh, that's it. Okay, let's drop it on that, and then we will go here and choose effect ambient occlusion, effect global illumination. I'm gonna set this to low. I'm gonna set this to low as well. Or actually, let's not have all that since I'm not doing a tutorial of the lighting. Let's just hit render and uh, see the change. Okay, this looks very bad. So I'm just gonna go and Go to my content browser, go to my presets, and uh, I'm just going to go choose HDRA, drop in a seamless floor. Okay, and uh, let's go choose an HDR and let's go to studios and uh, let's choose a random one, say Google Reflection. And then we want to go here to Ambient Occlusion Global Illumination. And then let's hit render and see what we get. Okay, so see, now it's rendering well. So this is how we can see the refraction over here. And one more thing we can do is we, want to, we can go to the material and we can just add in a little bit of reflection. We can probably set the brightness down to say something like 40%. And then let's uh, make a, a render again and see what we have. Yeah, it actually wouldn't make uh, that much of a difference. So let's go and bump this up to a hundred percent and let's make a render again. Okay. So we can see the shift in the position over here, and this looks more thicker than what is. So if you look at our old one, we can uh, see we have this reflection over here. And that is probably because of the uh, HDRA Studio Pack that we use. So let's uh, make a render in a different location. So let's just take this. We want to rotate this. We want to rotate this. Or uh, we can actually go and uh, go to the Canton browser and we can choose another. Uh, Studio, so we can choose three softbox and let's make a render and see what we get. Yeah, so you can probably see the lighting over here, the reflection over here. And uh, let me just go and make it look better. So set this to best one, two by two, four by four. And let's uh, look at it like this. Okay. So here, what it looks the magnifying glass with. Um, little bit of reflection over here and a complete change in the uh, look of the cube so um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial guys I know it's a pretty simple one and uh, hoping in the next tutorial we make a little bit more modeling and uh, till then I'll see you and uh, have a good night please like share comment and subscribe uh, helps us helps me a lot helps me grow and make tutorials and is there any uh, any other thing that you want me to make a tutorial of just drop in a comment and i should do it so bye bye